fudge. Now two minutes from launch, all systems are go for launch, according to Russian uh, launch controllers down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Less than a minute from now, the Soyuz will be placed on internal power and the automatic launch sequencer will be initiated. Less than a minute from the launch of the uh, Soyuz, TMA-10 and new residents to the International Space Station. The Soyuz on internal power. The automatic launch sequencer has been activated. The first umbilical tower has separated from the booster. 30 seconds away, standing by for the second umbilical tower to move back from the Soyuz. All engines ready on the Soyuz. First stage engines now at flight speed. The second umbilical tower has backed away. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Engine ignition. Preliminary intermediate. And liftoff. Liftoff of the Soyuz rocket transporting new residents to the International Space Station. The Soyuz has cleared the tower. Pitch and roll program initiated according to flight controllers. Soyuz headed on the proper trajectory and azimuth for its two-day chase to reach the International Space Station. Feeling well. Load in order. Good. First stage performance reported. The Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single core engine. Everything is in order on board. Vibration increasing. Copy. 40 seconds into the flight, roll and pitch program reported to be nominal, according to uh, Russian flight controllers. Velocity picking up as the Soyuz darts through a hole in the clouds high above the Baikonur Cosmodrome in central Kazakhstan. 50 seconds. Spin within the norm. The crew is doing well. The loads are increasing. 80 seconds. Everything continuing to go well as the Soyuz heads downrange. Velocity now 1,100 miles per hour, or 500 meters per second, riding a good first stage. Normal parameters, systems within the norm. The load... Soyuz Commander Oleg Kotov reporting normal parameters on board the Soyuz. Kotov uh, seated uh, in the center seat on the left side of your screen. Fyodor Yurchikin on the right side of your screen. Your role in order. Operations as planned, utilization of the system normal. Everything is reported uh, in nominal condition. The jettison of the four strap-on boosters had been accomplished. They had dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles, so used traveling at about 3,400 miles an hour.
now have had the jettisoning of the escape tower and launch shroud. A very smooth ride for the Expedition 15 crew and spaceflight participant yeah, Charles Simoni. Yeah, Control system. Phenomenal. 180 seconds. Stabilization. The Soyuz second stage performing as advertised. Three and a half minutes into the flight. The second stage of the Soyuz, 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, with a single engine providing 96 tons of thrust for about three and a half minutes of operation. The crew with a thumbs up on board the Soyuz TMA-10. The flight uh, proceeding right down the pipeline. Kotov uh, continues uh, to bat away at his uh, black cat toy, which he says is good luck for the crew. Pulsar 1, the call sign for the Soyuz, as the Soyuz heads down range toward its preliminary orbit. Four minutes into the flight, the second stage continuing to perform as advertised. A good ride so far for Expedition 15 and Charles Simoni. Copy. Now we are watching the third crew member. Four and a half minutes into the flight, uh, you see Charles Simoni, the American businessman, former software developer and executive of a Microsoft Corporation, seated in the right seat of the Soyuz. You get a sense of uh, how gentle the Soyuz ride is to orbit. This is nominal. All parameters on the Soyuz reported normal. Everything is in order on board. Coming up on the five-minute point into the flight, we're standing by for the burnout of the second stage and separation. Two hundred eighty seconds, expecting separation of the second stage. Copy for separation. Five minutes into the flight, second second stage separation reported. The four liquid fuel engines have completed their task for today, now dropping away. About four minutes of powered flight remaining. The Soyuz now being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage, providing 30 tons of thrust, burning for about four minutes and two seconds. Three hundred twenty seconds in flight, nominal flight. Thumbs up from your chicken on the right, Kotov on the left in the center seat of Soyuz Commander. Everything proceeding perfectly for the Soyuz TMA-10 at the six-minute mark into the flight. About three minutes of powered flight remaining. So you was headed downrange, uphill. 350 seconds in flight, nominal flight. Launch controllers reporting that uh, all pitch and roll maneuvers are proceeding per the pre-programmed flight sequence. The Soyuz uh, heading right down the track towards its preliminary orbit. Shortly after the third stage shuts down and separates, the Soyuz will be in its preliminary orbit, after which uh, the solar arrays and navigation antennas will be deployed for your chicken, Kotov, and Simonyi. 400 seconds inter-nominal flight stabilization and within the norm. Seven minutes into the flight, the Soyuz now traveling at about 18,500 feet per second. We are uh, almost, we're almost uh, two minutes away from third stage separation. Everything continuing to go very normally for the Soyuz TMA-10. 430 minutes in flight, nominal flight. No issues with the vehicle. 
Aboard the International Space Station, the Expedition 14 crew, Mike Lopez Alegria on the left, Sonny Williams in the center, Mikael Turin on the right, watching uh, the climb to orbit for their replacement. Sonny Williams, of course, will be staying on board the station with Yurchikin and Kotov until she is replaced later this summer by NASA astronaut Clay Anderson, who will be delivered on the STS-118 mission. Again, uh, the Expedition 14.